have everyone and in the previous discussion we have uh, uh, we have uh, these three satellites comparison Landsat, uh, Spot and uh, Sentinel and there uh, we also discuss their prominent characteristics and now in this uh, current discussion uh, we will be focusing on our own Indian satellites and uh, their uh, prominent characteristics and we will be comparing them uh, especially about IRS, Cartosat and Resortsat uh, uh, sensors. So, not only the satellites, the mission and the sensors, especially our, our aim is to focus on sensors here uh, which are on board of uh, different uh, uh, satellites of uh, Indian origin and that uh, we are having a series of satellites as uh, discussed also earlier, but uh, I would like to focus on uh, lens, uh, this IRS 1A1B and uh, then IRS 1C1D. As you can see that uh, uh, things have improved, at, uh, they, we had two scanners less 1 and less 2, uh, 72 meter and 36 meter spatial resolution In less 3 the things have improved. 23 meter and 70 meter resolution and at the same time we also have a steerable pen at 5.8 5, 5 meter resolution and one more sensor in IRS 1C and 1D was added that is BIF at 188 meter resolution. In between IRS P2 and IRS P3 were also launched uh, and then in 2003 a new series started coming which is resource set which has again list 3 sen, uh, scanner as same as uh, IRS 1C 1D and then list 4 scanner at uh, 5.8 meter resolution. A waves was also there then a Carto set series and a, a, the main purpose of this series was to have a complete uh, coverage of the globe uh, using uh, at 2.5 meter resolution stereo pairs and uh, then Cartosat 2 also came and uh, that uh, about uh, 1 meter spatial resolution. So, a lot of development has taken place in, in Indian remote sensing satellite systems. In a summary all these uh, are listed here starting from IRS 1A. So, that was 17th March 1988 was a beginning of a new era of Indian remote sensing satellites and it is continuing. We, uh, things are still like Cartosat 2F was launched in uh, on January uh, 12th on 2018. So, it is a continuous uh, uh, progress is going on. There is always one satellite or another or sometimes two or three in a space to cover different part of EMS spectrum and sometimes in tandem also. Uh, like I, when IRS 1A and 1B they were also designed in tandem. IRS 1C 1D, but uh, uh, D had uh, developed some snags and problems at very early stage. So, life was very much shortened. Also, RISE at 1, which is a, uh, a radar remote sensing satellite, RISE at 2 will be launched in the year either end of 2019 or 2020. Now, when we compare the uh, bands uh, and uh, other details, so, what we find that IRS 1A 1B, it has two sensors list 1 and list 2, repeat uh, cycle was 22 days and uh, this was the altitude and things uh, changed little bit and uh, this uh, these were put in a little lower orbit like resource set and IRS P5 much at uh, just uh, 618 kilometer and it has only the pen because we wanted to have a higher spatial resolution. So, this was the design like this and repeat cycle also if it is a stereo wheel uh, then it is possible to have repeat uh, repeatability or repeat coverage uh, within 5 days also. Otherwise, uh, like in case of IRS 1C 1D the repeatability was on 24 days and in Carto set and the, because the resolution improved very significantly and therefore, and this repeat coverage also reduces. This is this point we have also discussed earlier and um, one is that uh, if uh, a spatial resolution is relatively coarser like in case of uh, NOAA AVHRR then uh, repeat coverage uh, may be two times in a day 
but if you go for higher and higher spatial resolution the repeat coverage and the well though the number increases but the the revisit time uh, becomes very large like in case of cartosat p5 it is 126 days so because the the area, the the swath becomes very narrow and in order to cover the entire globe and come back again to the say first track or first orbit it would require 126 days so irs 1a mission we have already discussed in previous discussion so i am not going to focus what i would like to focus on sensors itself list 1 list 3 and as you can see also the spatial resolution varies 72.5 to 36.25 and then swath as a spatial resolution improves the swath reduces repeat cycle remain same repeatability and bands bear also same in list 1 list 2 uh, when we compare list 3 list 4 and a waves then uh, of course on list 4 we had a uh, monochromatic or photo uh, panchromatic camera or panchromatic uh, capabilities uh, resolution was much more a better 5.8 meter in case of list 3 it was 23.5 meter and therefore the swath width also reduces in case of list 4 just became half as compared to list 3 and a wif of course is a much more coarser resolution satellite 70 meter spatial resolution 56 to 70 meter so the swath width was much more and uh, obviously the repeat cycle will increase there or will improve and uh, the data uh, generally 7 bit that means the pixel values and within an image can have maximum variation between uh, 0 to 127 or total number of variations of 128 and uh, generally mm, uh, in like in lenser series the 8 bits is more common uh, uh, for the uh, radiometric resolution whereas in case of avifs it is a 10 bit uh, resolution if i compare with the uh, nova avhrr then the the nova vhrr provides at 11 bits so uh, it, it depends on the resolution as well as the requirements and uh, of course the sensitivity of uh, those sensors which are on board of and different satellites spectral coverage and uh, this uh, 0.62 to 0.68 uh, micrometer and uh, in different sensors we had uh, different coverages and uh, if we see the type of scanner then these are along track uh, scanners ccd arrays and uh, number of elements uh, by 12000 elements were there so in one line we'll have 12000 pixels in case of uh, list 3 we had 6000 again in ca- case of avifs 6000 so uh, the point which came in earlier discussion is that uh, more number of arrays are there m- more challenging to calibrate them and make them uh, functioning in identical manner but this is uh, these are the things which are obviously done before the launch of uh, these all satellites or especially about the sensors uh, when we compare irs uh, 1c pen and uh, list uh, 4 that is uh, uh, panchromatic or mono resolution wise is same the swath width was same the improvement with the list 4 was the 7 bits so 6 bits means 0 to 63 total number of variations an image can have of 64 but when we go for 7 bits it becomes just double though it sounds just 1 bit extra but 1 um, bits extra becomes double that instead of uh, 64 Uh, values total values we can have now 128 uh, values so the uh, obviously list 4 had the better uh, radiometric resolution and uh, spectral coverage was little different for both number of uh, arrays in case of pen there were 3 in case of uh, list 4 there were 4 so only one array leads to better internal uh, geometry so in that way it was quite improved uh, system as compared to irs 1c 1d panchromatic and uh, here the red red uh, of visible part of uh, em spectrum the red instead of panchromatic band was used in case of uh, list 
and these uh, these uh, where these bands would be located what should be the resolution depends on two three uh, factors one is for what purpose these satellites are being launched or designed and uh, experiences of past experiences and uh, whether the data was used for what kind of purposes what is the demand uh, by the users and accordingly and uh, these things are done so that exercise is always on that uh, if we need a, a particular band in a, a, in future sensors then we should justify and give that demand and uh, these uh, organizations like isro or nasa they try to incorporate in their future sensors just to give you in comparison of uh, 5.8 meter resolution 7 bit and 7 km 70 km swath and that is uh, the red band of em spectrum in a mon uh, mono mode means in black and white of lis4 and uh, uh, this is uh, irs uh, again lis4 5.87 bit and this is 70 km but this is uh, uh, colored composite and whereas it is of course the location is different this is milan and this is palm island images at uh, 5.8 meter resolution when they are uh, fused with the multi spectral data of coarser resolution this kind of uh, merged product or fused products can be uh, created uh, like this uh, for very famous uh, palm island of the way few more examples of uh, irs uh, avifs are the which is relatively very coarse resolution very famous lake uh, mansrover lake is there of course this is colored image and part of uh, myanmar coastal area uh, the sensor irs uh, p6 and sensor is lis3 of course uh, this is multi spectral scanner so uh, you get a very good uh, and discrimination for uh, vegetation and other things here hardly you find any vegetation so therefore you don't see here though this is also a color composite and uh, in cartosat cartosat uh, became very popular because it has the capabilities uh, uh, this radiometric resolution was also uh, very good and it has capabilities of acquiring data in a stereo pair and very in a way very much innovation was done and see the spatial resolution now we are talking about 65 cm in cartosat 2 so the best part here uh, that uh, for uh, stereo images uh, in a spot and uh, these uh, uh, sensors used to look the sideways and uh, in order to cover in order to have a one stereo pair for uh, common area uh, suppose the satellite is overpassing on day 1 and after 28 days when it overpasses on the uh, covering the same area by that time there might be clouds and therefore the stereo pair becomes almost useless so one one uh, one one uh, image is having no clouds and another image is having clouds and the time difference is also 28 days or 22 days depending on how orbits have been designed so in order to overcome this uh, problem Uh, instead of looking side uh, forward and backward cameras were developed so at the same time within few seconds uh, two uh, pair or two images for one stereo pair were acquired by cartosat satellite so that was the very good innovation which was done with our satellites so um, 4a and uh, afte means uh, looking forward and backward uh, with the same angle and uh, when the, uh, along the direction of your orbit or flight path so when this situation was there immediately within few seconds the data was acquired of the same area with two different angles and once this stereo pair is ready then one can use to uh, using photogrammetric techniques one can develop a digital elevation model that too at a very high spatial resolution it became possible and also let me add here uh, like uh, i mentioned earlier for uh, google earth which provides the data of landsat and other satellites there is a similar kind of product for in india also and that is called bhuvan and in bhuvan you can have uh, you know digital elevation models prepared using cartosat data at uh, 5 meter or 5.6 meter resolution that too available free of cost 
And so many part of India have been covered and that data is available. So those who are interested for free digital elevation models of India at a very high resolution, relatively very high resolution, then Bhuvan is the portal from where the data can be downloaded. Also, and uh, the data of three years old or more can also be downloaded for, of different sensors, IRS and list 3, list 4 and so on and so forth. So that archive is also available. Maybe in future like in case of Landsat, uh, the data is immediately uh, become uh, available for download. Maybe in future our ISRO may provide that kind of facilities for users to download data once the data has been acquired by the satellite rather than putting data after three years of acquisition. So this uh, another thing is this uh, 26 degree and uh, this uh, angle was used for these stereo pair data. But the important point here is that uh, simultaneously the stereo pairs were being created. So the issue of time difference between two images was not there and at a very high resolution of course the swath reduced to only 9.6 kilometers. So very, very narrow swath does not matter, it, it is very, very useful and data. So this is a sort of a, in brief the history of some of our remote sensing satellites. Here it is starting from IRS-1C and then 1D. And uh, of course, then OceanSat, TS, ResourceSat, CartoSat is there, CartoSat 2 is there, then uh, RISAT uh, that is radar remote sensing and then ResourceSat 2 also there. So these are the years uh, which are given on X axis and this is how uh, one can. Now the future satellites which will be coming, the RISAT 2 I have already mentioned, ResourceSat 3 and uh, maybe in future we are going to have hyperspectral images from our own Indian remote sensing satellite, uh, high resolution LEO satellites and uh, low earth orbit satellites might be uh, possible in near future. Uh, so uh, there is, uh, there were already a series of sa Indian satellites, in future uh, it is going to continue and uh, hopefully we will have very high quality, very high spatial resolution, uh, multispectral and data from various Indian satellites. So this brings to the end of uh, this discussion about uh, uh, you know salient characteristics of our own Indian satellites, IRS, CartoSat, and the resource set satellites. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.